Our first presenter for today is the chair of the board of ABS-CBN Corporation, the country's largest and leading multimedia conglomerate. He was elected the chair of ABS-CBN in 1997. He pursued ABS-CBN's diversification into various successful ventures that included interactive media, sound recording, post-production, international cable and satellite distribution, sports programming, licensing and merchandising, and digital TV. Aside from leading ABS-CBN, he also serves as the vice chair of the Lopez Holdings Corporation and the vice chair of Bayan Telecommunications. He's also a director of the First Gen Corporation, First Philippine Holdings, and Sky Vision Corporation. And not to expose his age, but he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science from the Bodwin College in 1974. 1974, so that makes you, no, never mind. In Brunswick, Maine, and a Master's degree in Business Administration from the Harvard Business School in 1980 in Boston, Massachusetts. Siya po ang aming Sir Chief sa buhay namin. Let's all please welcome Eugenio Gabi Lopez III. Actually, I'm a little nervous. Um, it's easier to talk to the Ad Congress than to uh, IMAP. Um, usually, I start my speeches with a, with a corny joke, but Chago said, don't do that. Um, these are digital natives. They won't understand your corny jokes. Plus, they don't work for you, so nobody will laugh. <laughs> so anyway. I'll just go right to it. So to the summit organizers, delegates, guests, friends, good morning. Less than a decade ago, the IMAP did not exist. Today, it is hard to imagine a communication industry without an organization like IMAP. Internet and mobile marketing are not just ripples in the total communication industry. They're really the new wave. I was newly born when the television-centered era began. Today, I'm still young enough to witness the dawning of the digital new age of Philippine communications. So thank you for inviting me here today. Obviously, I am not a digital native like the most of you. I don't even have a Twitter account. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Twitter correctly. <laughs> but for now, you may follow the guy who pretends to be me. He has a Twitter account, and uh, maybe he has better insights. <laughs> My friends in IMAP, I look forward to the successes you will achieve and the changes you will affect. The creation of IMAP is one of the signs that things will never be the same again. Many things will not be the same again. Your gadgets, the internet speeds, the provider products and services may not be the same again. Our habits in consuming media may not be the same again. The way we learn about products and how we buy them um, will undergo significant transformations. The hottest technology today may be obsolete tomorrow. But there is one thing that is sure not to change overnight. According to Robert Labayan, that is human nature. <laughs> Our need to love and be loved to preserve our lives and to protect our family, to learn and leave a legacy, to celebrate triumph, and to rise from defeat, to expand our horizons, imagine a better world, and actualize our potentials. These are instincts that mankind has kept since time immemorial. These are instincts that make us want to read literature, to experience drama, to know the news, to sing a song, what I'm trying to say is at the heart of it, it is content that fuels the wheels of technology in the digital age. We believe it is the need for a romantic thrill and the affirmation of family values that drive the high viewership of Be Careful With My Heart on I Want TV. I Want TV gives the viewer more control over their lives. It's TV viewing whenever you want, wherever you want, on whatever device 
suits your fancy. I Want TV has already reached a monthly peak of 42 million page views. I Want TV's success has encouraged us to expand its service. More than a catch-up facility, it is now possible to enjoy linear viewing of both local and foreign channels. Working in a foreign country creates a deep longing for family and home. It is the need for such emotional comfort that makes OFWs in Singapore access ABS-CBN content through StarHub on mobile for only one Singapore dollar the whole day. Filipinos everywhere else in the world can also experience Filipino entertainment through TFC.TV, which is our global version of I Want TV. It is the instinctive need to protect the family that makes people go to our news websites or access TV Patrol on mobile. It was also concern for the future of the family that made several thousand Filipino voters download the election app that we created in partnership with the Comelec. For whatever emotional or intellectual need, people search content on YouTube, the world's second largest search engine uh, next to Google. YouTube, YouTube attracts about one billion uniques per month. The number keeps growing and the viewers keep multiplying because there is more and more content that people really want. We are encouraged by the fact that on YouTube, ABS-CBN is the Filipino entity this has accumulated the biggest number of views. We are grateful to the people who provide internet service, those who provide mobile service, the internet and mobile marketing practitioners and our advertisers. You all help ABS-CBN reach more people. By more people, we don't mean just the affluent and the tech savvy. Compelling content will bridge the digital divide. Imagine FPJ and Mars Ravelo on your mobile. Imagine Vice Ganda and Daniel Padilla, not just entertaining people, but actually updating them on the latest showbiz events. Just a few examples of Capamilia mobile content that will connect with the, the popular market. A few years ago, we thought at ABS-CBN that the digital conduit was not the way for us to reach our core market. We are now revising that belief. Our research has confirmed that parents from lower income homes are now buying components one by one to be able to set up their own computers at home. They are also investing on smartphones and tablets, which are now available at affordable prices from the malls, who also offer free Wi-Fi. Again, with the popular following of ABS-CBN on I Want TV and YouTube, we are confident that the internet market will cease to be a niche and when content creates value for all these technologies. And with content, we, we don't just mean the same stuff you see on TV. Content for the digital space will come in new forms. Online content will adjust to the new habits of consuming media, which is characterized by time shifting, place shifting, and sometimes social viewing. New content may be shorter and sweeter webisodes, or they may be full seasons available in one download. They can be behind the scene clips or collections of highlights. They can be alternative stories or revealing inside stories. The viewer can choose the camera angle, the cast or the ending. The viewer will interact alone or with other people. They can be anything that we have not yet imagined. There will be a lot of them because they may be cheaper to produce or they may be produced by the viewers themselves through crowdsourcing and projects can be crowdfunded or viewers may partner with networks. In 2011, YouTube announced that it will fund 100 new original channels from celebrities, online video creators, and even Hollywood studios. The project is a continuing success. According to a Fortune magazine report, several of these new YouTube channels now have bigger audiences than many mid-sized cable channels. What YouTube is doing for the rest of the world ABS-CBN would like to do for the EMAP members in the Philippines. If you have an idea, let's collaborate. This is exactly how. Send us your content ideas that you think will work on the digital space. 
we will choose five or more. The chosen ones will be funded by us. We will put them on the appropriate ABS-CBN online platform. We will promote them aggressively. And like what they do in YouTube, we will go into a revenue sharing partnership. If the idea flies in the online space, we can look at migrating them or recreating them for the analog uh, broadcast market. Any idea? Let me give you one, one, one specific topic that we're looking at. For our new primetime hit, Got to Believe, we want new ideas that we can produce into webisodes. Now, this is one specific idea, but we are open to any idea you may have. Start writing your idea now. Email it with your proof of concept before the end of the year. Send your email to collabstudio at abscbn.com. Don't tweet it to the guy who pretends to be me. <laughs> and like what they say in promos, the more ideas you send, the more chances of winning. Today, all the online properties of ABS-CBN approximate over 100 million views per month. But we want to continue growing this. And to grow it, we need to enrich it with various compelling content. We need ideas, IMAP ideas. Our feeling is that the digital era is really the great equalizer. You are at par with any studio, any network, any movie company. You only need passion and your idea. And if it works, we can go from there. The digital era is not just an equalizer for you, it is also an equalizer for us. It's not the guys that have the most money or the companies that have um, all the little letters that go after their name. I think it's passion that will drive the new digital era. So we want your ideas and we're willing to work with you. If you want to move up the corporate ladder, um, if you, that's not, this, this is not who we are. We are the guys that if you have an idea that defines why you are in this planet, we want to hear it. So let us explore these new possibilities together. The rules are yet to be written, so we will write them together in the way that we want them to best address our needs, and more importantly, the interests of the Filipino people that we serve. Many things will not be the same again, but in the digital age, technologies will continue to change our habits. But only compelling content can satisfy the unchanging human instinct. Thank you. Boss, we won't let you go that easily because we have a red chair for you. Let's have another microphone. Ah, so you chose the black chair. <laughs> I'm colorblind, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's just like the Matrix, right? It's either you take the black chair or the red chair. So, who's excited about collaborating with our digital platform? Parang natulala sila doon, boss. Maybe they are tweeting to that guy who pretends to be you already. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about that idea, collaboration. Um, obviously, it's not because our own writers in ABS-CBN have run out of ideas. That's not the case, but we're asking the audience now to participate in generating content. How exciting is that? What do you expect them to, to, to give? Well, the thing about commercial TV is that you're always catering to the largest audience. The idea about the digital era is that you don't have to cater to the largest audience. You have to cater to an audience that's commercially viable, and that's not necessarily the same thing mm -hmm. as um, the herd. Yeah. So uh, I think in the digital era, you know, it's, a co it's fragmentation of content across many different um, ideas. Mm -hmm. And so who's to say? what content is compelling. I'm not even a digital native. So we'll take your idea, if we think it will work, we'll put it out there. Mm. Are we basing this on, say, the experience that uh, maybe American uh, Well, it, uh, it's really based on what YouTube has been able I, to do. Yeah. And uh, I, I think if you, if you uh, look at what YouTube has done, there's a lot of new channels that they've been able to develop. And, and th what, what YouTube did is they brought in the things that they're good at. They have the studio, they have the cameraman, they have the facilities, they have the funds. 
we're willing to take that and partner with people that have the ideas that we think are worthwhile. Are we going to pay them well? Well, they'll pay themselves. I mean, the, 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 if, if it's a good idea and it works, yeah. then I think there will be money to share. So there'll be a you know, parang profit sharing nila with whatever intellectual property they create. Hmm. Now, uh, of course, that means uh, the, the challenge for these producers will be to uh, invest in their own, I guess, uh, production equipment, right? For... Uh, no, we're not. We're not. So, ABS we're not. Yon. Okay, so that's a collaboration there. Some technical aspects will be handled by ABS-CBN. The ideas and louder, script writing, will come from yeah, the, collab the, 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 the collaborators. Okay, so when we're looking at the uh, content that they will be providing, anong genre ba ang, uh, ang hinahabol natin? Anything. Anything. So Anything. pwede pa rin yung mga teleserya type? Wag na, wag na. Iba naman. Wag naman, iba naman. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kaya, ganun eh. Di ba? Iba naman. Iba, iba, iba naman. naman. Sige. Um, ano, ba ang, ano ba ang hilig mo, Boss Gabby? Ano ba ang gusto mo makita? Oh, wala. wala. I mean, you, you know that, uh, that there's, there's this channel that does six-second six videos. And I was just talking to some of the organizers and they said, namamatay na yan. Parang Vine lang yan. 15-second video na ngayon. 15 oh, seconds na. Instagram so, video na. So we're looking for ideas that are like, you know, that are different, that can be compelling, that will lead to significant views. We can create, we have the platforms that will create uh, the audience for your ideas to be viewed. Mm. All right. Now, of course, we're looking at generating content, you know, and the viewership hopefully will follow. Uh, is this, siguro, some people will think, going to cannibalize the viewership of the mainstream broadcast network? Yes, it will a little bit. I, I think there's no question that uh, cannibalization is, uh, uh, is, is going to happen. Um, but we're willing to accept it. Mm. So in accepting it, does, does that mean that parang, uh, you'll be sacrificing some of the revenue that might go to the traditional or mainstream well, broadcast? I, I think our view is cannibalization is going to happen whether I like it or not. Mm. So I might as well be part of it. Right, right. Just don't be like, you know, Hannibal Lecter <laughs> and be a cannibal. Anybody has questions in the audience? Anybody want to collaborate right now? Oh, right there. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lee Verseles from CCNC Total Management. Yeah, Gabby, I just have a question. Can that theme be expanded to, the theme of content be expanded to, let's say, um, um, convergence technology that would kind of bridge um, analog TV and the mobile phone? which would also translate to more content and likewise also increase the revenue scribble of ABS-CBN? Well, the answer to that question is a function of the consumer. If that's what the consumer wants to do with the content that you have, then of course we'll go there. So at the end, the decision is not going to be made by me and what I want. It's going to be made by the consumer and the way he consumes your particular content. If he does it on mobile and he moves to analog, then of course we're gonna, that's exactly what we're going to do. But we're open. Anybody else has a question for Gabby Lopez? Uh, just, to re just to recall, Napala, boss. Um, of course, we did announce uh, we had a partnership before, uh, also uh, in producing our own uh, mobile sim. Uh, in that same vein, it's we're also planning to. Uh, uh, um, give mobile subscribers the opportunity to also watch ABS-CBN content on their smartphones or on their tablets. So the idea of th producing uh, these webisodes ties up with that as well? Or afterthought na lang ba tong webisodes? Ginawa na natin noon yan. Sabay, sabay, sabay. So all right. So in essence, what these um, uh, collaborators will now be producing can be seen now on a mobile platform through the ABS-CBN mobile. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hi, sir. Hi there. Uh, my name is Tony Ahn. Um, I'm with Tony Ahn & Company, a digital public relations firm. I also write for Interaction, a digital column, and I'm a consultant for WendyManila.com. Um, my question for you is, um, I think the, 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 collab, the collaboration idea is really interesting, and I'm really glad to see that um, big networks are getting into that now. Um, 
my question is why um, why only five? Because you know, with the way the internet works, the internet's kind of fickle, and you never really know what's going to really fly and what's not. Um, in the business of trying to create viral videos, that's very difficult for us to do. So, um, and because you're on a revenue sharing model, you, you don't lose anything by trying more ideas. So, is this just sort of a pilot? Is that why you're starting with five? Or? Well, we, we wanted to put something out that was modest. You know. Okay. The idea is we, we there could be as many as twenty. I, sure. I don't know. So the, the, the criteria is it's got to be something that we think is going to work. Gotcha. Okay. And, and if we're not sure, we'll put it out there. Thank you. Any, any ideas already, Tony, that you want to pitch? Yeah, but I won't do it into the microphone. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, sir. Fantastic. <laughs> My office is just right outside. <laughs> All right. Anybody else has a question? I think they're already thinking. I don't know how to it. That will and all, or taking pictures and tweeting and it. Okay, don't forget, right? You have to tweet or post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag, so that you'll be eligible to win one of the six thousand peso prizes. That will kick off your collaboration. Take muna, because we were born after the war. Yung collaborator has a different meaning now, di ba? Pero yung mga medyo no, never mind. Wala na ba nata dito ng 1945? Mga ganon. Collaborator ibang Boss Gabby, thank you very much. Thank you.